guys, welcome back to Sassy Saturday episode 8. Um, I wanted to apologize first off because my videos have not been going up like every single day like they normally do. And that's because I started school this week. I'm filming this on a Friday so it'll be up tomorrow and it will be up tomorrow. I will stay up until this thing goes up because on Monday I, come from, I came home from school, I did all my paperwork or whatever and... Normally, what I used to do was I would go to bed and, like, during the summer, I'd go to bed. I'd go and lay down in my room and I'd be on my computer and stuff and I'd watch all my YouTube videos that I need to catch up for. Um, and then I'd be like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go to bed, I'm going to upload this video and it should be uploaded by the time I wake up because, for me, they take forever to upload. And so, when I came from school on Monday, I just was so tired. I was like, oh, it'll be okay. I think I have a video up already. Anyway, I don't think I did. So then, you know, that just kept happening and happening, and I, I kept getting, like, super tired, and I just, I couldn't, like, upload a video. So I tried to upload a video last night, and it was taking forever. I don't know why. I think it was the internet connection or something. So I'm going to upload it tonight. Like, all through this weekend, you're going to get a bunch of videos going up. So sorry that they haven't been up. Like, they should be. They should be going up like more evenly now because I'm like used to school like I've been to school for a week now I think I should be good um by getting into the routine of it and, uh, and everything like that so I just want to apologize about that and then also I I have filmed videos like after school and I was planning on uploading them and I might look a little bit like crap like I get I go to school at 7 30 I do like my full face and then when I get home from school my makeup looks like crap like, it looks like crap. I try and fix my foundation as good as I can, and my eyes, they look alright, I guess. But, I don't know. It's weird. I don't look the same like I normally do. So, I want to apologize about that, too, because there's some videos that I look weird. Like, today, I also look weird because I, I don't know why. I just feel like I look weird. Do I look weird, guys? Like, let me know. Um, let's go ahead and move on to nails. So, firstly, this week, I wore the Girly Nail Polish by Revlon. And, uh, this is a pink base with... Light pink, purple, and hot pink glitters throughout it. I wore this, and then on my ring finger, I had a little flower on it, which I'll show you in a s I have the hot pink flower you can see right there on my ring finger. Um, and these I actually, whoa, I got these from Etsy. Um, they're just called cabochons, and they are these little plastic acrylic roses. Um, so I'm going to find a link for you guys and post it down below. And then also this week, or not this week, but I'm wearing currently another one of those cabochon orange ones this time. And the color I'm wearing is China Glazes Turned Up Turquoise, which is just a turquoise color. Um, and it's the, from their neon line, so they dry matte. And then over top of it, I have Butter London Henley Regatta, um, which is a really pretty turquoise with, um, it's just glitter. The turquoise that's got some green and blue all up in there, it's super pretty. Um, and I don't have a dupe for this. I'm going to look one up. If I find a dupe, it'll be listed down below, but I don't have a dupe for it because... I technically, I are, technically, I really wouldn't have in the first place purchased a Butter London just because they are like $15 now. At the time when I got that, it was $14. Um, but I typically wouldn't buy them just because they are so expensive. I do like the formula and all that's great, but if I can find a dupe, I'd rather have the dupe than a Butter London because of the price. So if I do find a dupe for you guys, I will tell you down below. I'll say Butter London dupe to Henley Regatta and I'll link, or I'll post the name of it and brand and all that stuff. So it will be down there if I find one. Also, I want to talk to you guys about this nail polish remover. This is a Butter London Pumpkin Warrior Pumpkin Pie Scent um, nail polish remover. I used to use the Brandwin's Berry one, if you remember that, from a while ago, and then the Peppermint, Sergeant Peppermint one that I just ran out of recently. So I moved on to this one, which is perfect timing because it's basically fall time. Um, but this is disgusting. Like, let's... There's no acetone in this, but I don't recommend sniffing anyway, but it just, it like really stinks. Like, there's vinegar in this, which doesn't help it whatsoever, but when you start to use it on your cuticles, that's what I use these for since they work expensive. Like, it gets so, like, the scent is so strong, you want to throw up. 
for me anyway. So if you're like scent sensitive, I guess that one I probably stay away from and give it to a friend or something. Or if you can, if you can deal with it like I am because you spent twenty dollars on three nail polish removers, deal with it I guess because that's what I'm going to do. Um, I like the fact that they're like different scented and stuff. I think that's super cute. But I hate this scent. It smells caramely and not really pumpkin-y. It just kind of is very overwhelming and it makes me kind of sick and nauseous. So I'm going to stick it through, but I don't recommend that one if you don't like weird scents. Okay, so favorite blush for this week, guys, is this one here by NARS. This is in the infamous orgasm. Um, I love this one. For, like I've been using this one non-stop and it's almost time to change out my stuff again which I'm kind of excited about because I've been using this blush for freaking ever but it's your typical orgasm there's several dupes out there for this um, if you don't want to pay what is this $30 I don't know how much this is I got this as a Christmas present because everybody was like you have to have this this is the best blush ever and it is a nice blush like don't get me wrong but if there's a dupes out there like personally Personally, I want the NARS one, but after having it, I'm like, I can try any now. So, but yeah, I've really been liking that for just a little bit of color on the cheeks. So there it is, swatched. It's just really subtle. I really like it. Definitely recommend it, though, if you want to try it. Definitely try it. Favorite bronzer. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it in a Sassy Saturday because I just started doing these like eight weeks ago. So I don't know how long ago or if I was able to mention this before if I started using it then because I had stopped because I was like oh I only have one of these left. This is in Park Ave Princess by Tarte. This one's just a sample one. Obviously it comes in those sample things. But I this one's the one with shimmer or the sheen I think. Um, but this is what it looks like. It comes in a pan like that. This is basically what the packaging is too in real life. Or the real one. Like this is just a sample one but I think this is actually textured instead of plastic or whatever. Well, paper but I don't know if this is the matte one let me see this one's the matte one okay well before I had the shimmer one so this one's the matte version which I really really like um, I use this one every single day and then my favorite eyeshadow palette is the say hello palette by Hello Kitty line it's I'll link it down below it's on sale for 11 bucks it's a four if you're interested if you like the color the packaging Hello Kitty whatever definitely get it I recommend it um, and it's in the say hello palette but I'll have the link for you guys down below. And my mirror is broken on mine. And it's also cracked somewhere else. Up here, I think. But I took the mirror out. I'll glue it back in later. Um, but here's the colors. And my favorites are this one and this one. And I like them all, though. Don't get me wrong. But this one is the peachy one and this one's the bronze one. And guys, they are beautiful. I talked about these in... Here they are. Here's the peachy one. That's the bronzy one. I talked it talked about it in my last Sassy Saturday, my favorite purchase. I don't have a favorite purchase. This actually, yeah, I do. I'll show it to you. <laughs> I forgot. Um, and then the bottom I can't open. Here. And then the bottom. I actually really like these too. Um, they're just highlighting powders and stuff. Um, they're really nice. They give you a subtle glow. So I definitely, it's definitely worth 11 bucks. Like these are really nicely pigmented because if you've ever had another Hello Kitty palette, like they might, they might not have been pigmented, um, but this one is actually pigmented. I don't know if you've had one before, but definitely give that one a try. It's only 11 bucks. I'll link it down below if it's still available. And I'm so, so sorry if it's not, but I'm pretty sure it is because it's been available forever. So yeah. Next, these eyeshadows that I have been loving. I actually got these from Etsy as a sample. I'm doing a review and that review will be going up this, well, I haven't done the review. The first impression video will be going up some, like, soon. Like, probably this weekend because I want it to go up and then I'm going to do the review a couple of days after that because I wore them to, I wore it today, yesterday, and I'm going to wear it again through over the weekend. But they're called Crush Cosmetics. Crush Cosmetics. I'll have the link um, and all that down below. I actually got four colors, but these are my three favorite. I like the other one, don't get me wrong, but these are just the ones that I like to wear every single day. Um, so the first one's called Tempest, and I'm not going to swatch these for you because I'm there's going to be swatches on my first impression. So this one's Tempest. This one is the really pretty burnt, or well, a burnt orange rosy gold kind of color, whichever. 
Um, and these are actually sample size, and those are really good sample sizes, Kim, so thank you for those. Uh, thank you for, like, the great sample size. And this one's called Arabian, and I love this one. Um, it's a dark, it's a brown. It's a good chocolate brown. And then the last one, which is my all-time favorite, is Burlesque. And, um, it's a berry cranberry color. They're all shimmery, so if you don't like shimmery shades, they might not be for you. I'm gonna look on the website. I don't know if there's matte ones, because they all look shimmery to me. But, yeah. Check out my first impression video. It will be up sometime this weekend. Hopefully. Hopefully. I think I'll upload it for Sunday. So, yeah. And actually, I'm gonna link down below my favorite purchase for this week, because um, I can't really show you and like easily so the picture I will get a picture taken and I will link the picture down below if I don't put it in the thing because it's so flattering and makes you look so so skinny I'll link it down below where you can get it and it is on sale right now it's like 60 bucks but guys it's a black jacket it will go with everything it makes you look so small it shows off your butt it zips up if you want it to I don't like to zip mine up but Guys, it's an amazing jacket. It's by Rockin' Republic. You definitely have to check it out. There's like different types of fabric. Well, fabric. It's like different types of fabric. Yeah, but they're all black. There's like pleather, something else, like a chiffon type of thing. And then there's something that looks like a ribbed like material as well. It's so cool, guys. Just check it out. The link will be down below. I'll say um, favorite purchase and the link. So, you know, simple enough. And that's actually it for my Sassy Saturday episode 8. I'll have all the other ones linked down below if you've never watched them before and if you're interested in watching them or just kind of whatever, watching them again. Um, basically, that's it, guys. Um, oh, video recap. I only uploaded one, like I said. It's my Deborah Lipman nail foil tutorial that was requested by Elle. Thank you so much, Elle, for requesting and watching and your support. But thank you guys all for your support and watching. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment, give me any feedback that you'd like to. Everything will be linked down below. Video recap as well as the things I said I was going to link down below. All, that goodies, all the goodies will be down in the down bar. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.